everybody. Uh, welcome to Hey Man. I am Josh. I am Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. What's going on, dude? Oh, you know, it's 4th of July tomorrow. So we're filming this on the 3rd of July for those of you who listen to this. Are we dropping this on the 4th? No, we'll drop it on the regular day. We drop it on Thursday. The day after the 4th. Yeah. So, no, that's, that's two days after the 4th. The 4th is oh, it's, Tuesday. Oh, it's Monday. It's Monday. Sorry. Yeah, it's Monday. Some, Monday. I, I yeah, keep yeah. thinking. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Now, I will. Anywho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to start. <laughs> Sorry about that. But first of all, let me just get some stuff out of the way okay. that I want to talk about. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Wow. What's going on in my face? Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Two days ago, three days ago, four whatever, days ago, four days ago we were at 124 on the iTunes family genre of podcasts. That's right. the one we're under is family. And we jumped 50 spots in two days. Yep. Because of you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you all so much. I'm super grateful um, for this. And uh, I'm having such a good time with you, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. I was just saying, we have to do, we also like, as much as we love doing it in the studio, well, I think the conversations we have while we're in the car. We should just film the uh, Need to be documented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> something like I'll throw a GoPro up and just like. But I think that actually might be fun to... Or like on a road trip. Like we can just film... But if we, if we Instagram live uh, the drive from your house to here? I mean, we could try... We'd have to figure out... I could get a... Yeah, to I, the services dick. Yeah, there's that also. I was going to say... I mean, we could, again, we could just film it on a GoPro. Yeah. And then just post... We edit it down to however long it... Because it's a 25-minute drive, something like that? Something like that. I bet you there's... 10 minutes, 20, 12 minutes worth of for sure things that people might want to listen to. But guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We digress. So, <laughs> so amazing. And I appreciate you guys telling people because that's how it happens, man. Yep. It's, it, ha it spreads because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I want to say to you, dude, what an interesting new chapter for our relationship. Definitely. You feel that too? Yeah, because I feel like this is something we had always talked about, but just like in smaller in smaller segments. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. We tried Boomer and the Old Man, which was this podcast, but when I was a little younger. Too young. Too young. It yep. wasn't focused enough. Yep. Uh, and, you know, just other things yeah. in life. Um, and we talked about, you know, always doing uh, a TV show or pitching ideas for you and I. And when you get the Josh Wolf show, we did, you know, as much as we could. And then... That we had never gotten to a point to where this was going to be number one. Do you know what I'm saying? But also, so, dude, the amount of time we spend together on the road is making this podcast better. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when we when you were younger, look, we were always close, but it's still nervous isn't the right word. But you, it still felt like you were holding back a little bit of things you w thought you could say or couldn't say or... Well, yeah, because yeah. at a younger age, you're like, yo, you're like, we're, we always had the line of you were a parent before you were my friend. Yes. And that is still what the line is today. However, but, yeah, we yeah. have, I have grown up and matured to enough to, you know, see where the, where, not the gaps, but like where the openings are in our relationship and where they were to now be able to, but you know, talk dude, about different things. We're now like... In different setting, look, we're still, I'm still your dad. That'll always, but we're also business partners. Or coworkers. Right? And so that is what I mean is it's an interesting new chapter. You know, the other night I drove up to Jacob's house <laughs> just to kind of, by the way, well, not, you, you, not, you said not, something super funny. We were outside and, and um, he was smoking his joint and we were, I was, but I wanted to go over this, this you know, some ideas for the podcast, right? Yeah. So he's in, he's got a, what do you call it? A headband? Yeah. I had a pink Nike headband on cause I, I was clean. It was a cleaning day, right? Yeah. So I had my hair back and I was but doing dishes was and I was time. cleaning the, co the counters and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I was doing shit. I'm an older dude in my gray sweatpants, no shoes. And so we're just in the neighborhood. You said something super funny because this dude drove by. A couple people drove yeah. by. It wasn't just a dude. There were multiple people who drove by and I just thought it was funny. Cause like I was just outside, no shoes on smoking, smoking a blunt with a pink headband on and like a, a, a bright pink hoodie and a young dude and a young guy standing next to, uh, an older gentleman who just pulled up. How did you just describe me? Older gentleman 
Do you, what the fuck? Can you hear me? Do you need me to yell it? Older gentleman. Listen, dude. First of all, I'm going to let you finish the story, but don't you ever <laughs> describe me as an older gentleman. I didn't say elderly, man. Do I you said older gentleman. Fucking <laughs> mind. Do you I just feel call like me an I've, older gentleman? 53 is an older gentleman. Yeah, but that, you don't have to say older gentleman. What do you want me to say? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Not- <laughs> Exactly, like <laughs> to there. What they're seeing is an older gentleman. Like, I'm not trying to bag not on not you, Michael Caine, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I was driving by and I saw the two of us, I would think, young man, older dude, gentleman. Dude, I'm not Sir Paul McCartney, no, older but, gentleman. Uh, Paul McCartney okay. is. An elderly man. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah. also looks like an elderly lesbian. But okay. that's he does, to, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm not again, not bagging, just observing. Yeah. He does he kind of look like an elderly lesbian. lesbian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anywho, yeah. But I was thinking, I was like, yo, what? I wonder what these people think. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, what do they think of what they see right now in front of them? Is me in shorts? I was in no shoes, just socks. Okay, I was smoking a blunt with a pink headband on I, and a pink, actually dude. and a pink hoodie on. What I said first was, you were like, I wonder what they think. And I was like, I said to you, but they just see a father and son. And you're like, they don't know we're father and son. Exactly. They just see some older older gentleman gentleman in his gray sweatpants and tank top. Smoking weed. Smoking weed with his joint next to a younger dude in no shoes, a pink headband, and a pink hoodie, also smoking weed, standing outside of his car. A hundred percent. With somebody no, drove by and was like, "They're fucking." Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I drove, what is what would be your thought? Like, I'm gonna clip this and put it down. Yeah, like in somebody, the comments, what would your thought be if that was the picture the, that, that you drove by? Like, I I don't even. I would just drive by and be like, like if I was in L.A., I'd be like, yeah, oh, that dude, that makes sense. A hundred percent. In L.A., that that is that makes sense. But when in you West said Hollywood, that, that is. It's happening every night. When you said that, I was like, <laughs> first of all, I was honestly, I was so proud and impressed because you're starting <laughs> to think, oh, dude, in a comedic, in a, in a, in a comedy stand up way. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And I, fu- I, I started I writing awesome. down ideas for jokes already. That's awesome. Do you want to hear what they are? I'm not hear what they are, but like, do you want to hear, just hear what I have? Premises? Yeah. You want to just hear what I have Fuck written yeah, in my I notes? Do. Okay. I only have, I think I have like th- two or three. Yeah. Um, 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 by the way, this is, this might be one of the proudest moments of my life, unless they suck. And then I'm going <laughs> to, and then the- <laughs> top crowd already. <laughs> God, nothing yeah. like, nothing like disappointing your father for thousands of people. <laughs> Ooh, okay. okay. So one of them we've already talked about, which is the, we ha- we talked about it on the podcast. Um, the Indian food thing, like like going to a restaurant that where if I want to go to an Indian restaurant, I don't want the title. I don't want it to be run by white people. Do you yep. know what I'm saying? Oh, like yep, yep, I don't yep. want to be able to read the menu like yep. that. That joke. That, that's a good premise. Um, we've talked about it. Me walking out of a midterm and dropping out of community college after I've already dropped it's out a of fun college. Story. And uh, the dating. Uh, I always say, ladies, you should date a gamer. Oh, that's gonna be a great one. Dating, dating a gamer for me, don't, just don't, yeah, don't yeah, yeah is, it, a, is a good one. That's a good one. That's a re- dating a gamer. I think is the one you should jump in on first. Yeah, and I feel like it should be like cr- like I think it's that should be like first kind of like crowd involvement that I'll do is I'm like I'll talk to people and see if I can point out someone if I can find a woman dating a gamer in the crowd and like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I I love that because it's really personal to you and specific to you yeah and. And it feels around your generation. And like it's also it. something I've been saying for like five or six years. And I feel like it's now a good time for me to turn it into something. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, before we go any further, guys, I am drinking uh, out of my wife. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. By the way, Christ. you were way closer from where you started. You just turned the opposite Dude, way. But when I took, started, did you see him take the long When I started turning awesome. it, I was like, how big is this <laughs> bottle? Uh, but this is. Uh, her, yeah, there you go. her website, guys, is uh, thebeautifulearthlife.com. Um, listen, it's all sustainable, organic clothing. Recycled um, material. Recycled, eco-friendly. Uh, it's, and, but a lot of times when you hear that, you're like, well, that means that is going to suck dick. And a lot of times you sacrifice quality for that stuff. You are not doing that here. For me, look, my two favorite things on the website, surprise, surprise. I love the hat. 
Mm-hmm. The beautiful Earth hat is right up. I already have all four. I already yeah. have like four or five different colors. Yo, dude, super cool colors, but the fit is fucking mwah, huh? chef's kiss. And my second favorite thing is this. What would you call this? Uh, 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 <sighs> hydro she, flask? She's calling it Hi- the beautiful Earth canteen. Okay. And it's, so, like a, it's like a hydro flask for anybody listening and can't see it. Here's what I'll say, dude. So one of the things that Beth and I are really conscious of, I'm just showing my arm. Bicep, tri- triceps looking pretty good. You um, what, a tattoo about your kids. One of the thi- first tattoo I ever got. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the um, things that I'm really in on right now is the plastic particles and just basically the unhealthy shit that you're putting in your body when you drink out of most containers. Mm-hmm. M- most containers. Even right. the aluminum can, you're getting metal. Right. This is ethically sourced and you're, we're at a point and this is the top mm-hmm. is bamboo you're not getting any plastic particles, particles, no aluminum. Um, so it it is like perfect. And I bring it every day to the gym. I travel with it. Mm-hmm. But I love the canteen and the hat. Um, the beautiful earthlife.com. I want to say one thing about my wife real quick. You know, one of the things I love about your mom, dude, is she's not scared to reinvent herself. That's true. And 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 to me, that is true courage. Mm-hmm. You know, courage is is being fearless in trying. Mm-hmm. And so she's fearless. Absolutely. And so to to start this at our age and go all in the way she has, and you know how when she goes all in, she's all fucking in. Oh, yeah. So I love this stuff. The hoodies and sweats are great. The t-shirt's great. So check it out, the beautiful earth life. I know it's a hot summer, but uh the the tracksuit, the matching hoodie and sweats are my Favorite thing there. That's super you were comfortable. At the airport. I have different. I have you know different colors already that I get to wear a different one, different one each week. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, okay, tell wait, me. Wait, wait, I got a couple things to say up top oh, okay. too. Yeah, you're gonna let me do mine real quick. Um, I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah, can, yeah. I, I'm wearing Bird Brain Apparel. Uh, we've talked about them before, but we love their stuff. I'm wearing uh, a new shirt and some new shorts by them. Uh, if you're shorts. if you're in Cincinnati, please go see them at their storefront. Uh, if you're not in Cincinnati, I'm pretty sure they have a website. I'm gonna assume it's Bird Brain apparel.com he's thank you for cutting to that i appreciate it sorry about that yeah are you are you mocking me because that's how loud i drink yes okay i just wanted to make sure like he saw me drink (laughs) earlier and i realized i was a little too close and i knew i was wondering if you were going to say something and that's what he said instead was gulp 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 (laughs) um (laughs) um and then on another more serious note, um, today is July 3rd, but yesterday was July 2nd. Talked about him uh, about a month ago all here on the podcast as well. It would have been Jackson Odell's 26th birthday yesterday on July 2nd. Um, I, I, you know, I said it all before, but I'll say it all again. Uh, is his music on iTunes? I don't think so. That mom... My mother posted a clip oh my God, of him singing so good. in the backyard of your guys' oh. house in California. And it was a song that he wrote for my mother's movie. And it's the it, one very few videos I have left of him singing. If you haven't seen it, go look at my mom's page on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to post it again at some point. His um, voice is so fucking you'll good. You'll be able to feel something just from seeing that yeah. video. Um, and it's the closest that anybody who didn't know him or ever get to see him, you'll ever get to seeing him perform live yeah. and doing what he loved. Um, Jackson Odell, unequivocally you all the fucking time. From the beginning to the end, I wouldn't have changed a fucking thing. Yeah, what a good um, dude. Love you, brother. Love you so much. Yeah. Um, so I, I really love um I really love that you take the time <sighs> to do that for your friend. I think it's really important. I think it's also really important for you. It's part of the healing. It's part of the grieving. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, sometimes the memories are the hardest thing, but they're the thing when you look back, you realize what uh, yeah, the special moments you have with this dude. Yeah. It and was so, uh, it was a good time. Yeah, I'm I'm proud of you for uh, for um, appreciate it. honoring him and yourself, dude. Always. Um. Okay. So, do you want to talk about the funny thing that happened to you, or do you want to talk about Spade and Nikki Glazer first? Hit me with the funny thing that happened. Yeah. To you. Okay. Because it's going to lead us in a couple of different directions. That's why I think. Okay. Okay. So, my girlfriend and I, Iman, went on a drive 
yesterday. We were going to... By the way, it's 117 degrees. No, it's not. Today, it's 117 degrees. Is it actually? Yeah, yeah. It's 100, Wait, 117. Is it actually? Yeah. It doesn't even feel like 117. Oh, we left the joint in the car. It's going to dry out. You want to go get it while I look up how hot it actually is here? Yeah, it's a good idea. You remember where it is? So, yeah, it actually is 113 degrees here in Henderson today, which is crazy. Um, but yesterday, my girlfriend and I went on a drive. We went to, uh, I went to a, a new dispensary because that's where I wanted to go because they had a special deal. And I got to be honest with you, the weed in here in Vegas is uh, not the best. California, no one, no one compares to it. So we went to a dispensary that was a little ways away. And on the way over there, we stopped at a, at a Dutch Bros. Um, because we love their drinks and their coffees. And you've seen all of us do all that, right? Well done. Um, I, we went to uh, a new dispensary yesterday is what I was telling them. Oh, which one? Uh, it was called uh, Euphoria Wellness. The outside of it, not going to lie, looked like a COVID clinic. I swear to God, they had a blue pop-up tent outside. Like There was no green in their sign. It was blue. I was really confused. I was like, am I? Am I in the right spot? There was a Bentley parked in front. I go, Can where? I, I was like, where am I? Like One of my favorite things online is John Chris. Do you know John Chris? Maybe. Comic. He has an online segment that he does called um, Church or Dispensary. Yeah, it's so Jeffrey. funny. But I like, love that. Because by the names, like higher ground, you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. close. Yeah, they, but they're so good. He yeah. did five the other day, and I only got three out of five right. Yeah. So it was, so it was pretty funny, but I walked in. Uh, honestly, a uh, place was called Euphoria Wellness. Mm -hmm. Really liked it. Good deals. Good quality stuff. I actually got some some uh, some Chong weed, some Chong brand weed, oh. or Cheech's weed, or one of them. Tommy Chong, yeah. It, right, it might be Tommy Chong. Oh, it is. It, it's Tommy, Tommy Chong. Chong. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I got some of the Chong stuff. Uh, good. Very good. It's okay. it's it's in that thing that you want to go get from the car. Yep. Um, and on the way over there, we stopped at a Dutch Bros. That's what I was also saying. You love a Dutch Bros. <sighs> Stop it! I got a new drink. It's my new favorite. What is it? So it's a Dutch soda. Which is just carbonated water with do flavor. the Dutch accent like the dude from Goldmember. Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, do, yes, yes. Skin is very salty. No, yes. But tell the rest of the Dutch yes, soda yes, story. So it's, so, so it's like a Dutch soda. It's uh, it's it's carbonated water, and then pumps of. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not very salty. It's very sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet actually. Um, so so it's like pumps of syrup, and uh, what is it? Hold on, I gotta get the right. Yes, yes, it's it's not very toy either. It's not very toy. It's uh it's strawberry, it's passion fruit, and it's a uh, it's a blue raspberry. Oh you you do you know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and then some cream in there. Oh. It's, it's fucking yes, yes, very good, very, very delicious. Okay. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> but it's called the grape because it goes purple. It's fucking amazing. Um and we're driving in this neighborhood and we passed those over there, I don't I think it's Enterprise is where it was. There's a couple, it's just a lot of empty land, mm -hmm. but there's also some ranches. So there's like some goats and there's some horses and we drove, we drove by this house and I legit stopped the car and turned around because I was like, did you just see the animal that was in that dude's backyard? She goes, no, what was it? And I flipped back around again, hit a Yui, came back to it. There was a full grown live camel in this man's backyard. Camel, hump and all. I was, so, well, yeah. uh, I was so confused. Like, well, why do you need a camel? Yeah. That's my question. How big's the yard? Big enough for a camel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, single, it, single camel? There was a camel. There were goats. Like, there, it looked like there was a little mini ranch. But I mean, zoo? Yeah. But look, that's what I said. I said, look, for the camel to be in Nevada, which, by the way, if it's in Vegas, it kind of makes sense because it could be like exotic petting zoo, but right? Or like ride a camel. Can, can handle the heat. And that's the, what yep, I, yeah, yep, I was yep. like, that's honestly, yep. I go, I, it's not cruel. It's not like there's a horse just baking in the sun. The camel lives in this. So, I mean, yeah. I guess that's fine. But I was so confused. Like, is what's the weirdest thing you've seen in like a legit residential person's house? I have weirder ones than camel. Well, first of all, I wonder, do you need a, like a special permit for a camel? Have to. I don't know if that's legal. You can't just go get a camel. I don't think it's legal. I, I don't know. It has to be shipped here also. Do you, you need don't, an no. exotic license? animal license? Is that considered exotic animal? A camel? Yeah. And in the gotta States? Put, you got to put it on the boat. Like, yeah, that's a good question. What's the weirdest thing I've seen in somebody's yard? I've seen a couple weird things. Are you talking about just in general or animal-wise? Animal-wise. 
Well, I mean, look, dude, anytime <sighs> there's the, it's not somebody's yard, but there's that lion right near our house. That's not a, that's not a yard though. That's a nature. That's like a lion preserve where you can go. It's the old MGM lion. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. It's so weird. <clears throat> it's like nothing, 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 nothing house, nothing, 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 nothing. It's right across from Amazon. <laughs> It's so awesome. bananas. Oh, and there's, there's a giraffe there, too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen anything. What about, what about that tortoise in L.A. that was just in somebody's front yard? <laughs> so Do you remember that? That tortoise looked like it had been alive longer than its owners. Oh my like, it was God. just a ginormous just tortoise. in the front yard. Indiana Jones did a not like him. Well, that, to be fair, Indiana Jones got a little too close to his face. The first time him and I passed him, yeah. like, the first time we had ever seen him, the thing, like, when it was just sitting there, Indy was like, what? The? And then it, like, would take one or two steps, and Indy was bolting. Like, he, yeah. he was also new to us, though, but he was trying to run away from it. Like, he was not excited. I feel like when we first got Indiana Jones, he was way more of a pussy. Well, that's usually what happens with dogs. That's how you raise dogs correctly. They're not, they're very skittish when they get to you, and then you get to open up their character and who they are as a dog when you get them home. Yeah, he's bananas. That's one of my favorite parts about rescuing dogs. He's bananas right now. He is bananas. Straight up bananas. I, I don't know. I <sighs> mean... I don't I've, know what the weirdest thing I've seen. I've seen some weird ones. I've seen some, uh, I've seen weird things in a backyard, but never like weird animals. What have you seen? Um, I used to be friends with a dude whose uncle um huh, trained Hollywood animals. Yeah. So like the the dog from the Lady and the Tramp, the live action. Yeah. I I met him at their house. Okay. So he was like super trained. Also in the backyard, uh, was a legit wolf, mm. who the did not like anybody else. Yeah, and they, only liked the uncle because he was the caretaker. That's how that goes. Yeah, and then the next time I went over there, he opened up the bay window to their uh, kitchen, and he was like, "And he was like, come say hi." And I was like, "To what?" And there was a baby giraffe in their backyard. Yeah, I'm out. What do you mean? No, I got to feed a giraffe in someone's yard through oh, that, a bay window. That is super cool. But it's I'm out awesome. on having a giraffe. Oh yeah, I'm out on having a giraffe. If okay, ready? Another question. Which actually, funny enough, Iman asked to me today if you could have any like monkey. Weird, <laughs> Damn, bro! <laughs> Spider monkey. He didn't even let me monkey. get out. You didn't even let me get out my question. That's your answer. Uh, I don't know what's the question. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let me. If so you can have any exotic animal monkey. as a pet, monkey, like like weird one, like from a zoo, anything monkey. like that. You're going monkey, specific monkey, spider monkey. No, yeah, because I don't listen. You can't have like a chimpanzee or something. Did I told you when I worked with that chimpanzee, right? You've seen fucking. Uh, you you saw a nope, right, dude. You saw a nope, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Dude. So also, I, they're practically people. I worked with... When I used to work for Nintendo. Yeah. And I was... Um, I'm going to date myself a little bit. But I... They were promoing a, um, a new game called Donkey Kong Country. And it was really the first of its kind. Right. Um, the graphics were fucking next level. And also, they were doing things with this game that they hadn't done with any. You can still see the video online that I did. Because they sent a VHS out to everybody. Love it. Right? And so, um, okay. So I'm doing this promo with the monkey. <laughs> and um, we're lining up and I'm holding this monkey's hand and I have a water bottle. And they're about to call action and the trainer goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. I go, yeah. And he goes, if the monkey takes the water bottle out of your hand, don't, don't take it back. I go, why? He goes, oh, he'll rip your face off. Yeah. That sounds about right. And I was like, oh. And he goes, and if he's staring at you, I go, yeah. He goes, don't, don't stare back. I said, why not? He goes, oh, he'll rip your face. <laughs> I like how, I like how both of his answers were the same. Yeah. And I go, I said, do, do you have a monkey that won't rip my face off? And he said, well, this monkey, this is like one of its last jobs. Cause when they hit, when they hit a certain age, when they, they start probably to, get grumpy, they just are aggressive. So like he said, you know, you, you just, this is not, this is probably one of the last gigs, but like, don't, if he don't stare at him. Don't challenge him in any way. He'll straight up rip your face off. <laughs> and then he goes, good. And I was like, no, not good. Good. <laughs> Did good. you back out? Good with what? No, no. Because the guy, yo, this is, I, I, I was doing it with a, these were honestly, dude, one of my favorite dudes that I ever fucking worked with. And I know he'll never hear this, but I wish he would. We worked in the, the place was called Echo Entertainment. It was on Ventura Boulevard. The guy's name was Phil Smith. Yo, to this day, still me might be my favorite fucking person I've ever worked with in my life. Okay, pause. 
Internet, do your thing. Phil Smith, he worked on, where do you work? He worked at Echo Entertainment. On Ventura Boulevard in California. But Phil, I think Echo's defunct. That's, but somebody's got to know a, a Phil Smith. This fucking guy. Somebody, internet, do your thing, such, Phil Smith. A, such a good, good dude. Sorry, I I, I know TikTok will do its thing. Yeah, or somebody will do its but, thing, but Phil Smith, but, you're, you're being called upon. But, um, yeah, dude, we filmed this thing and... Uh, they like it, it. It went. It was fine, but I. I would like a spider monkey. I put a little diaper on them. Okay, because they shit all over the place. Yep. But I go spider monkey. I don't need tiger or anything shit like that. What about you? Yeah, I'm. I'm looking for something I can hold. Sloth? No, no, they're dangerous. Well, actually, there's two different types of sloths, and some of them have two nails. Some of them have three. Um, two means no. Like, like think about it. Like if they have two and no. Don't talk to them or try to touch them. They'll try to rip your face off. But the ones that have three, Y-E-S, yes, those are the ones you can like pick up and move. Did you hold the one that was on the Discovery show that I did? No, but there was one in the middle of the road when I was in Panama. Did you pick up and get No, him? somebody else moved him. You know why I didn't want to pick him up? One, two claws. Two, um, they're covered in fleas and ticks. So I'm not touching them. That's a good move. The one I held wasn't. That's what you think. Well, it wasn't. That's what you think. But it wasn't. That's what you think. It was a dude who brought it from his place. You don't think there's a possibility that somebody has fleas or ticks? Or no, an animal dude, has fleas and because ticks they, they have fleas and ticks because they live in the fucking wild. All wild animals mm -hmm. have fleas and ticks. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you picking if not sloth? And not monkey, which I'm so surprised you didn't pick monkey. Yeah, you know, monkey definitely crossed my mind. I, I thought about Chimp earlier today when she asked me that question, but then I thought about that movie, Nope. And then I thought about how they're practically people. Just... There, you know, there's a missing link. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but they're but, also monkey <clears throat> chimps, right? But right. It, it rip your face off. and ridiculously smart. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I this one was a hard question for me. I don't really, I didn't really have a, a straight up answer. But I also did think that having a wolf would be cool, like the really yeah, big gray dude. wolf, like having one that's just fucking gigantic. Do you remember that wolf dog that used to walk? Remember where we that dog park where we used to let Rocky mm -hmm. get humped by other dogs? A poor dude. Yeah, he stood up for himself one day, and then we never went back. Yeah, yeah. And also, well, uh, another variable of a person. You mean the crazy woman? He, uh, yeah. yeah. I was trying to leave it pretty vague, but yeah, that one. Yeah, but you don't have to. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, I mean, I, I, got, uh, I told you I sent all of her emails to the so Secret Service, right? Yeah. Have you told that story? I don't think... Have you told that story on here before? Do you want to? I, it's a, it's, I have, listen, I will tell you, I met this woman at the dog park. Yeah. And, um, uh, nice woman. I, I would not put it past her to be listening to this. So, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't. It's a really, really good point. Because every now and then I'll get a, not every now and then, like I got six bananas emails the other day, but it'll reference something we said. Uh, yeah, so maybe... Okay, yeah. We'll so we'll, we'll stick away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, a uh, crazy person. We met her at the dog park. But yeah, there used to be a wolf dog. At, that would... And, and when you let that wolf dog off the leash, it just patrolled the fence. Yeah. It just walked around the fucking fence the whole time. He knew, probably knew they were coyotes because we were literally on the side of Mulholland. We were oh, yeah, on the side of it. Go, 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 go. That's the, not a, is that a coyote? <sighs> <laughs> Was that close to coyote? No, that's not it. Hold on, hold on. Let me try. Let no, me try. No, no, let me try no, coyote no, no, again. No, no, no. For some reason, you're making K sounds, which I don't think I've ever heard any type of dog make. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was trying I, to yip it. Yip, 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 yip. That's not it. No. You should stop. <laughs> <laughs> you should stop. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, but but no, you know they. The coyotes were smart enough to they would they would howl past the fence to bring dogs yeah. to the fence. And if they brought a small dog, they would just nap him through the gate. Or if it was a medium dog, they would like jump over, jump him, and then like try to bring him over the fence. Like, yeah, those coyotes are smart, man. They're smart hunters. Yeah, they hunt in packs. They're they're no joke. Um, so you're going wolf, I'm going spider monkey. Yeah, I think just having a ginormous wolf to cuddle with would be awesome. Yeah, they <sighs> I'd be the little spoon. I'd just be laying in like it's like a practically a beanbag. You would let a wolf big spoon you? It's like a giant beanbag. I'd just lay on them like Yo, how big They're big. Gray wolves are fucking massive. How big are they? Think? Oh my god. All right, well you look that up. I want to 
Yeah, you bring, by the way, 111 out right now, but yeah. We went, oh, and by the way, can, can we just talk about this real quick before we get to Spade and Nikki Glazer? Yeah, what's up? So, on the when we leave here, we're going to go to a dispensary called The Dispensary. <laughs> Good name. Um, Over on Eastern. Um, But also, I, I'm going to sign, we're going to go to a gym and sign you up. And I said to Jacob, I go, hey, dude, why don't you just come work out with me? And wh- what did you tell, tell them what you, why? You, oh, 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 I, I, because you, you work out with a dude who works out pretty hard. And, I work out. And you I, won't work out with me. I, so I used to work out with a buddy of mine named Sean Scully. We went to high school together. We were both, we both transferred into the same school in the same semester. So we kind of like had a, had a new kid bond. Uh, but we've been friends ever since. Sean, my man, uh, he, but also is in ridiculous shape. He's an actor, so he picks up roles where he has to put up, put up, you know, put on weight or take off weight or any something like that. Yeah, he doesn't work out like you. You, what do you mean by that? He's right. Yep, I'll get to it. You work out like you're angry, like you're angry at somebody, which you used to do. You know what he used to do? He used to walk into the gym, get warmed up, and then he would pick a random person in the gym, like somebody shorts he didn't like, or Usually or somebody who was saying. bigger than him, who was like saying shit about him. But guess what? All of the stuff was made up. Yeah. Like if he didn't like somebody's shorts, every time he'd see him, he'd go, God, I fucking hate that guy's short. Let's get a set. And he would use it as motivation. And multiple people had come over and been like, Hey man, why are you staring at me? Yeah. I'd be like, sorry, dude. I just- he would be his, his exact answer would be like, sorry, you're the victim today. And he'd be like, what? Nah, I didn't say that. No, but he, he would just choose a random dude. Yeah. And he'd be like, I'm so sorry. Like, just don't, just but don't that's look that. You told me in the car. Well, also you think Sean works out angry. Yeah. Sean doesn't work out angry. Sean can talk in between sets. You don't like to speak when you work out. Yeah, but like, but also you say you don't work out angry anymore when you make the faces like your fucking what faces. You make a face like you're Michael Jordan with your tongue out sometimes trying to dunk a basketball. Like you're like, <laughs> like trying to get a set in, and I'm like, yo, chill the fuck out, pops. Like, I have like, a new goal. Dude. This is not an Armstrong Invitational. My, like, <laughs> my new goal is to be able to do ten. Pull-ups, but in the L shape with your legs out. Mm. It's a good goal. That's what I want to be able to do. I hope we don't tear your shoulders. Listen, at 53, I feel like if I can knock 10 of those out, that would be amazing. You know, but the goal after that is I want to get on a deadlift. I want to get a set of 10 at 235, but I think I'm real close to that already anyways. That's pretty good. For me? Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's, I don't need to go heavier than that. My body's going to break. That's true. Yeah. I There's no need... reason for you to be pushing yourself that ah, much no. at all. I agree. I By agree. the way, uh, uh, a full grown male gray wolf uh, varies between 50 and 72 inches from tip to nose to tail, which is about six feet in length. Yeah. Uh, and they can weigh anywhere between 70 and 160 pounds. Holy shit. That's a wide margin. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I want one of the big ones because it's like a big, big bean bag. And I just lay it. What are you going to do? I don't think I'd want something that weighed more than He'd me. have to have his own queen bet. That yeah, dog right? is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, but by the way, guess who's not coming over? This guy. Why not? They're, they, they are single owner animal, dude. But what if it was like the perfect ideal dog and he liked family? Yeah. Fuck yeah. But I would let him test it out on some other family members first and then I'd come over. Smart man. Now, okay. I want to talk to you about... So we went and saw David Spade and mm-hmm. Nikki, Nikki Glazer the other night. I'm such a fucking asshole. I'm the name of the opener is escaping me. Mm-hmm. Don't I? I also. He, I I really liked. Him. I did too. I really liked him. So fucking personable. He touched on some difficult topics up front as the opener. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With he definitely tested the waters def- real early, and I liked the balls. So, so. But I want to tell you something about Nikki, man. Yo, Nikki Glazer is fucking. Fearless. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. I watched her it, fucking fearless, dude. I watched her because she, look, I don't have this skill set. I don't think, I don't know because I've never worked the muscle, but she will get into a difficult topic and she, uh, it, the most difficult ones you can think of, she's talking about it mm-hmm. and she will dig herself a silent hole and then dig her dude. And then because she has such confidence 
that she's coming out of that hole swinging with just straight bangers. And she digs herself out of it faster than she dug herself in That's it. That's what it's I'm saying, so, dude. Yeah. It was, dude, I, think I, it was I was my, so impressed. I think I was it was so my first time really seeing her like God. a full set live. Outstanding. She was amazing. I, 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 I and, first of and, all, and, and Iman's, and Iman's, one of Iman's favorite comics. It's so honest about herself. Mm-hmm. And oh, dude, that fearlessness and the fear to walk into the fire, knowing that as soon as she walks through it, she's going to reward you with a nice treat. Mm-hmm. I was just, mm-hmm. there were so many times I was like, how is she going to get out of this? Yeah. Yeah. And there was, there was, she there fucking was, did. there was one in particular in the middle that definitely, ah, dude, it was, it was, but she, she came out on top. It was so impressive. Mm-hmm. And then Spade. Ben Spade. Can I tell you one word? that to me describes his comedy. Sure. Effortless. Yeah, because do you know what it is for me? You know what it is for me? For me, it's like I'm having a conversation with him. Effortless, yeah. If you ever get the opportunity to have a conversation with David Spade, which I hope people do because he is such an outstanding human being. Uh, He's a good person. He's generous. And I have nothing but good things to say about the dude. Um, He's so personable. And it's just like having a conversation with him (sighs) Uh, while he's on stage, but you just aren't responding, which is kind of like having a conversation. Yeah, but, but but that's just what it is. And he just has great thoughts for every single person that can relate to. It's, I don't know. I just think he's... I, 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 I was just watching him. Like, he makes comedy look so easy. You know, guys like him and Bargazzi, to me, are like offshoots of, kind of like offshoots of Bob Newhart. You don't know who Bob Newhart is. I was going to say, I don't think I know who that is. But, but, you know, sometimes the asides, the under the breaths are the funniest part. A hundred percent. And they're throwing away punchlines. Mm-hmm. You know, most of us lean into a punchline. Yeah. And they're throwing it away yeah. out of the side of their mouth. It's so fucking impressive. Yeah. I, 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 watching Spade was like, both of them, because they're so different. Yeah. hundred percent. It, it was a, re- if you are in Vegas, I think they're doing two more weekends, one in September, one in November. Go see him. Yeah, go, it's go, so go. good. Speaking of which, uh, my show on Monday nights is moving to 7.30. Oh, we're moving up. Moving on up. Uh, moving on up. But, uh, but Bef- and, and ten- Before Lou? Yeah, b- before Linnell. And, um, but tonight's show, we've sold more tickets than we have in any other show. And so things are heating up here in the desert, everybody. Outstanding. Yeah, uh, things are heating up in the desert. You coming tonight? Uh, you told me that I would miss you start, to did, start stream. Did I'm, you start your Twitch yet? I'm calling Bobby when I get home because... Mm, but did you start yet? What do you mean did I start If you're yet? not doing Twitch, you got to come down to the show. No, no, I'm streaming tonight. Okay. I just got to call Bobby. He's going to work with me. I already okay. got it scheduled. I'm okay. doing a maintenance call with my buddy Bobby. He's the guy who helped me get into my streaming stuff and like set everything up. I'm just having a little kink with it. And I have my partner who's already ready to play tonight. I got everything set up. Streaming tonight. When you see this... I will have a set up stream schedule. I'm going to try and go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for at least two to three hours. Uh, sometimes it'll just be me. Sometimes it'll be with friends and I will take game suggestions and maybe play with a couple of you guys if it's a solo stream. So come see what's up. Can I tell you, and I wanted to get into this a little bit. I, my life is changing in, in, in ways that I never really thought were possible. Uh, not that, not in in a success, uh, failure kind of way. Right. Not in a business way. I've never mentally been in a better place than I am now. So much of the stuff that I thought was bullshit, the self help stuff, is tr- is. Yo, know, dude, I, I tell you, and I I don't know why. But I tell you, I've been like the, I've been journaling Mm -hmm. and just talking about my intentions and, and, uh, how I just really like visualizing Mm -hmm. and listening to some podcasts, a guy named Jay Shetty. I like a lot. Mel Robbins. These are not names that I'm just discovering. These are obviously enormous podcasts. But are helping me so much, mm. and with emotions, and and you know, stories that you tell yourself about. I'm well. I'm just a, this is just who I am. I don't think that anymore. 
Oh, I'm just a, I'm just a guy who gets depressed. I don't think that anymore hey, because I have been given tools to kind of shake that. I, I, when you are ready, I don't know if I would have been at 26 because I can see your eyes glazing over as we're talking about <laughs> Stop. it. Stop. But when you're ready, yo, I, I, it's not too, never too late, man. It's never too late to feel good about yourself. It's never too late to, to start again. It's never too late to try something. I, I, I you know, it's never too late. I never thought mm -hmm. that I would feel this good mentally. I I have not faked happiness. This is big for me. Probably four months. That's good. Because I think that's something that I unfortunately passed down to you, that you felt like you had to project happiness all the time. Uh, I don't feel like it was passed down. You get it by watching me. I didn't say, mm -hmm. hey, this is you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I guess so. It's why the other day I asked you, how do you see your life? Like, how do you see yourself? You asked me that last night. Last night? Yeah. Well, and you were, and I said, answer me on the podcast. But how, like when you visualize yourself, do you visualize yourself struggling for money? Do you visualize, what do you visualize? No, I, I, I and do you think about that stuff? All the time. I, it's usually a daydream though. Like but that's what it but, is. Yeah, I, I, I daydream all the time. I daydream when I'm playing video games. I daydream when I'm driving, which is dangerous. Don't do that. Um, I I daydream. I daydream in the grocery store. Like I, I daydream at all times. Like uh, just about. And how do you see yourself living a high life? I've never I've never daydreamed or imagined myself at the bottom. And I guess for me, that's just kind of always been my goal. However, like I've had to go through struggles. I've had to go through with no money, but I've always had. A support system, which has been really important. So, do you still negative talk yourself? That's such a huge thing, dude. I won't allow myself to even think. I won't, you know, listen, calling myself a piece of shit or whatever, or used to be, you know, just part of the routine. And I used to think I should, I used to think that if you talked good about yourself or well about yourself or thought, you know, th this is what I'm going to have that it was conceited and that you needed to be more humble and be self-deprecating. But your brain listens to what you're saying about yourself. Yeah. Well, no, I, I don't know if a lot of the talking bad about myself is really around anymore. I talk about what I want. Like, I talk about the podcast and, and what we're going to do with it. I talk about going on the road. I think the fact that I'm already talking about different jokes and talking about shit with my girlfriend and what I can do and maybe something else I can talk about is already me listening to those elevated thoughts about how I just want to go further up instead of staying. I mean, look in the last, I'm not even going to say year in the last six months, my life has already changed. Yeah. That's what matters. Like it took a while, but things are happening. Dude, the three words, and I forget who I picked this up from. This is not me, but attention, intention, and discipline. Like, what are you going to focus your attention on? I definitely need and more discipline. And put intention behind it. You know, the, I need more discipline. The journal is the sure. thing that's been helping me with my discipline. Because I make sure if I do it every morning and every night. And I've never been able to stick to something like that. And even on the road, on the nights that I've forgotten, I forgive myself. And I write it in the journal. Hey, dude, it's totally okay. Not every, no, You're never going to be perfect. And the thing, you know what's really, it's really helping me with? You know, my biggest thing has always been, and this is the same for everybody, for most people, is comparison and competition. Mm -hmm. And I'm not comparing myself to, or competing with anybody besides myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not comparing myself. And, you know, I, I, I really am really, really, in my, in other people's, like the general public's pop, uh, opinion of me has never really affected me very much. No. Nope. But my peers' opinions of me have. Right. And it's something that I've worked really hard to put on the back burner. And this has really helped, dude. I really feel more clear and focused at, at 53 as an older gentleman. Older gentleman. Um, but I, I just am so excited about 
what's ha- what's going to happen here? Oh yeah! Uh, oh yo yo yeah! And as a younger gentleman, I'm also very excited. D- are you? A, do you consider yourself a gentleman? You are a gentleman, actually. What a dick question to ask. Well, no, what? I don't. I don't know. What? I can. Would I consider myself a gentleman? Was that an accent? No, it was just some attitude. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was just I, a little attitude. No, no, no. Yeah, I would consider myself a gentleman. No, that, 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 I didn't mean... That question ge- came out wrong. Yeah, because I know you're our gentleman. I meant like when you called me an older gentleman, that was a gen- that gentleman in that way. You're like a dude. Younger dude? Yeah. Not younger gentleman? Nah, you're not. Because I feel like dudes who are younger gentlemen have an old soul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're a younger dude. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, you know gentleman. A younger man. It's so weird that you're 26, dude. It's so fucking crazy to Yep, me. 27 next year. Yeah, I know how it works. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> just don't forget. You, th- you think I don't? I'll just make sure you don't Yeah, forget. I know how it works. Cool, what do you cool. think about this MTV shirt, by the way? I was with you when you bought it. Oh, you were? Where did we buy it? Columbus, I, I, Ohio. I really was just doing it so you could see my biceps. I have nothing to throw at you except that used <laughs> tissue. Don't make me. Dude, don't <laughs> throw that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> We bought this in Columbus? Yeah, at that uh, homage store. It's got the H on the side of it, dog. Oh, that's right, dog. This was, this MTV was back when they used to play music videos and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't have that anymore. Music videos? Do you no, watch no, MTV? No. Uh, I don't watch MTV anymore. I used to watch MTV for a specific... There was, look, there was a string of MTV shows that really... There was a little while where MTV was so What are those shows? Good. What are they? No doubt in my mind, number one favorite show coming off of MTV is Silent Library. Never heard of it. They need to. I think they brought it back for like a small reboot. What is it? Okay, so it's they used to do celebrity versions, and they would make money, and it would go to charity. But it usually was just like six friends. So six of your friends, they YouTubers have done it with their friends. Six of their friends would sit around a table, and there would be six cards in front of you. And on three, all you would have to be quiet. You have to be quiet the whole time. You can't talk. You can't make noise. And so you'd all pick a card, and you'd flip it over. And there was one person who had a skull and bones on their card and the rest of you had green. Whoever had the skull and bones had to do the challenge. And then they like pulled this lever and a challenge popped up. And there was, it's just absurd things like the absurd challenges they had to do, but they had to do it in a make sure they, they built a library oh, okay. set yeah, that's my and you did it in the library with actors who were stationed around. Like just what, like, what were some of the stunts? Oh my God. I have to look it up because like, it's it's been a, it's been a cool minute, but like those, it was just like painful. Like dudes would get hit in the nuts. There was like you'd have to. That's always funny. one player would stand there. Your five teammates would like throw fruit at you. Hey, can and somebody? You, you weren't able to laugh or make noise. And if you didn't make a lot of noise, you won the money from that round. If you made too much noise, you lost. Can somebody tell me who's a doctor? Because I'm sure we have a lot of doctors. Listen to this. Are your balls supposed to hurt more when you get older? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Do they are they more sensitive as you get older? Your balls? I'm asking the wrong. Oh, you are you asking me? No, I'm asking oh. the internet. I guess I could Google it, or maybe it's just me. And I don't mean sensitive like they cry a lot. You know what I mean? Like they got emotions. You got some games? Yeah, I can t- pull up a video. It's like this dude. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, it's like one dude does a frozen t- like frozen top where you have to like freeze a bunch of shit to your stomach like. It was just a bunch of random, random shit, but it was just usually a bunch of, a group of friends, like six bros. Was there, if you were going to pick one game show to be on? The Price is Right. Or oh, we, for real? Or we would go on a uh, $25,000 pyramid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you and I would kill that. All right, pay, pay, let's do one example of $25,000. <laughs> 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 that was a fucking... <laughs> yeah, your, like, your brain like my, died uh, right dude, there, like... I ran out of bed. Everything right there. shut off uh, right there. Uh, the, gears went, the gears just locked up right there. Yeah. That was embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, what, when I did that also, if you could edit some gears stopping right there, that would be awesome. Appreciate it. Hey, Thanks. pick a... pick a. How does it work? Pyramid. What shouldn't you be, pick a word? No, but you need to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so well, I, w- we- I wonder if I can do a $25,000... Oh, I bet you there is a game you can play online, and then we'll do it real quick. Because I okay. think we'd be good. And if we're good, let's see if we can go on. Could oh, you get... You know what? Even though we're not celebrities, we'd have to go on like... We'd have to donate to charity. I have 25,000 pyramid flashcards on Quizlet. Okay, go. Oh, my God. On Quizlet? 
I don't know okay. what Quizlet is. Oh, you yeah, you weren't a, so Quizlet is like where people will make study guides for high schoolers and college students to go look. So like if I made a Quizlet for this specific thing, you could go search it up. In and it's high like school, a, are you allowed to be on a tablet when you take a test? No. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I just think I think some nowadays take their tests on the tablet. Yeah, but no Wi Fi. You just turn it off. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Um Okay, okay, okay. Hit me. Um uh, like, like a snow jacket or a beanie or gloves or ski gear. N- no winter gear. Uh, c- close cold weather gear. No, no. Go back to that 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 other Skiing. one. Skiing. No, the second one. Winter. Okay. Uh, but it's like what are the things I just named? Clothing. Winter clothing. Uh, no, I mean, Win- does that does that count? Okay, it's clothes you wear in the winter. Yeah, but- dude, that's exactly what I said. Okay. Um, um, a car, a bike, um, transportation. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, what, uh what things with wheels. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good one. Wait, you know, that's it? Just those two? Dude, no I'm on a fucking roll. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, I, uh, a pumpkin. Um, Halloween things. No, kumquat. Uh, what'd you call me? <laughs> cantaloupe. <laughs> uh, fruit. Uh, no. Little round things with seeds. <laughs> pumpkin, kumquat, fruit. <laughs> Things you throw at your neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> no, pumpkin, kumquat, orange uh, fruit. Uh, yes, okay. Well, oranges, orange fruit, orange mm, food. The, 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 uh, yeah. No, what's another? What's another thing? Uh, orange food. <laughs> no Gourd, gourds. But, uh, no, no. The the color one is right, but like orange, it, orange things. Yeah, sure. There you go. That one's right. Um, uh, pencils, ruler, uh, backpack. Thanks for school. Yes, nice. Um, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, uh, ooh, um, uh, clothes, a suitcase, um, things you travel with. I mean, yeah, I think so. Things you take on vacation. Dad, yeah. Fuck yeah. That was good. Um, ooh, no, I'm not doing that one. Pass. Um, trust me. Oh, trust okay. me. Trust me. Okay. Um, let me try now. Okay. Okay. Don't do that one. <laughs> that okay. one. I was this. Okay. Ready? Yep. Steering wheel, engine, we- wheels. Things on a car. Was that right? Yeah. You got to say right. right. Come on. God damn it. 16, 20, 24. E- even numbers. 28, 32. Uh, multiples of, of two? You said 16. 36, 40, 44. Multiples of four. Thank numbers you. are multiples of four. Uh, my fault. <laughs> Mattress, pillow. Things in a bedroom. Uh, couch. <laughs> things in the living room. <laughs> things in a house. Uh, <laughs> futon. <laughs> sleeping bag. Things you sleep on. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't know that. You one. said pillows. Who's okay. sleeping on a pillow? <laughs> well, your head's on it. The, yeah. Uh, all right, ready? <laughs> Sandwich. Chips. Uh, salad. Things you eat. Things you order at a restaurant. Um. Things you eat at the pool. Hold on. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, things you eat. Uh, I pass. Damn it. Things you eat at lunch? Sandwich? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Couch. Chair. Things in the living room. Things. Yeah, nailed it. Oh, I got it. Nice. <laughs> Social studies, math, gym, uh, art. Uh, 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 classes in middle school. History. Uh, Was classes not the right one? Sci. Um, um, what is the word? Subjects. In yeah, school, subjects. Yeah. That's the right word. Stethoscope. Things in a doctor's office. Whoa. <laughs> uh, that's my only guess. Dough. T- Ray tomato me. sauce. Oh, oh, pizza. Things you put on a pizza. Dude, we fucking we would kill Come this. On, show. That's my phone. Why are you throwing my oh. phone for? Jesus. We would kill this show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We would do really well on that. We should go on. I think it would be funny too because we would. Because, like, you did 25 words or less, and we're really good at that, I'm pretty yeah, sure, yeah, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, look, if you know anybody who can get us on a $25,000 pyramid, hit us up. Uh, is it still on? There was a slot machine we saw at the Venetian for a $25,000 pyramid. Yeah, that, right that, next to a that price, doesn't help me. Right next to a Price is Right one. a Game of Thrones one, too. That's not still on. <laughs> Greatest TV show ever. Is it? Is it not? What are is you, it? What are you putting up against it? You're going to say Breaking Bad, I assume? For sure. Okay. Sopranos. What? Well, I'm st- I'm still going Game of Thrones. Hey. <sighs> yeah, and I'm gonna throw something in there that's gonna be controversial. Friends. Nope. 
Friends nope. is so nope. hard to execute for as long as they executed it. Right, but if you just... Look, okay. So hard to do what they did. I, but you're putting it in the greatest television show of all time talk? Cosby show? That's more controversial than Friends. Well, I didn't say anything about Cosby. <laughs> I'm just look, saying. Dude, when people ask me who my biggest comedy like influences are, He's on the list. Oh, I know. I know who he is for you. You know what I mean? Um, so no. you, you're you going Breaking Bad, you never saw. No. Sopranos, you never saw. No. So you're just saying, and the I'm sure some people put The Wire in there. Okay. Did you see that? <coughs> no. So your only point of reference here is Game of Thrones. You've seen Game of Thrones? Yeah. I've seen all of them. So then you know Game of Thrones is better. I... We'll say that I think Breaking Bad's ending was. Yeah, I, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones had a whole new creative team for season eight, which was a bummer. Sopranos, their ending controversial. Also, I would say consistency of the seasons. Breaking Bad didn't have a bad season. I couldn't get past four episodes in. Yeah, but that's I. I, I hear that. But I got I I I got I high that. and bored. I'm not gonna lie. No, I hear people that. are like get high and watch it. And I'm like I did, and I got really bored four episodes in and changed I, it. it. I I ooh, and the Sopranos dude was look. You know what the Sopranos did too, and they were basically first. They took a family you weren't supposed to like, who did terrible things and killed people, right, and made you like them, right. They humanized them, and that wasn't something that would like. There was, look, dude, in the, in the past, you know, when you were younger mm -hmm. on TV, there were clear good guys and clear bad guys. Right. And Sopranos to me kind of ushered in the era of gray characters. Okay. Where everybody's a bit good and a bit bad. Mm -hmm. And even the people you don't think you have anything in common with, at the end of the day, they still have a wife and yeah. kids and a job. They still got to go to PTA meetings. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They yeah. still have to go to therapy. And so it was such a groundbreaking. And you know what else I liked about it? You know what they didn't do? They resisted the urge to have a white wedding every episode. It was about the mob. Right. So every movie or show about the mob in the past has been like, these are the mob guys and everybody dies. Hey, and, hey, 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 hey. and they, you would go two or three episodes and nobody would die. You would go one episode and be like, nothing fucking happened in that episode because that's what life is. And yep. then all of a sudden, somebody just gets fucking whacked. You're like, holy shit, mm -hmm. where did that come from? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man. I, for you, I can't believe you haven't seen Breaking Bad. Why? Because I like drugs? What would you call second place for you outside of Game of Thrones? Are you, would, am I, I don't missing, even know. Am I missing any shows you think? I mean, it feels like those four, I would throw the wire in there. Wire for sure. Um, <clears throat> Warrior. Have you guys ever watched Warrior? I have not. It's a good nope. show. I just feel like... Some crazy people would try to throw Walking Dead in there, but it died season six. Dude, I'm going to tell you, The Walking Dead just had a, a few too many duds for seasons for me. I think they had too many seasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you I mean, could. I think I think you could have ended it way earlier. Yeah, but how are you going to jump off that wave of still having do, live TV, still having thirty million people watching? You're not going to jump off that. No, horse. no, no, no. I understand that. I understand. I that. agree. And that would. And I would say the one thing about that show too, which was equally impressive, is keeping it fresh because basically. That, yeah, you're. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking Bad, they're. The world is changing. The world yeah. was the same. You're good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Walking Dead. So it felt, keeping it fresh felt really very skillful. Game of Thrones. Did Game of Thrones, too. dude. Uh, no argument. Mm -hmm. No argument. And I yeah. didn't have as big a problem with the last season of Game of Thrones as most people did. Uh, I didn't either. I Look, I mean, I, like, I had some issues with it. But look, first of all, all the seasons had 10 episodes. We only got six. I feel like I was deprived of four episodes. So I'm a little mad at that. Two, uh, I, I think they missed an opportunity to do a spinoff of literally any single one of the characters. Instead, they chose to do House of Dragons, which in my opinion... Doo-doo stew. The last episode was great. 
the first five were Dude, it was terrible. I didn't but get past the second episode. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten were like eh, mm. doable. I but told your mom, I'm like, I'm not. We watched the second one. I'm like, nah, this is this yeah, is not it. For uh, me. Yeah, I was a little bummed out about that. Yeah, um, but Game of Thrones, anyways. So I would, as far I, as I, comedies go, so we say we put them in different categories. Where, as far as like a, where are you putting? My 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 list for comedies outside of che- outside of Friends, which I think we probably share, will be so different. Mine are, mine are way old school. Well, Taxi, gonna, Cheers, Cheers, Taxi, Seinfeld. Cosby Show, Seinfeld, Friends. Um, <sighs> you didn't watch a lot of live action sitcoms. I loved Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. You watched Fresh Prince and George Lopez a lot. I did watch a lot of George Lopez, but I watched more Fresh Prince. Yeah. So I'd probably go Fresh Prince. Also because, you know, first things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's all I got to say to that. Um, but yeah, it's also a J. Cole line. So. Um, all right, listen, dude. Is that it? Yeah. Wow. What else do we have to talk about? Do we want to talk about that we didn't get to talk about? In case we can do it real quick here. Uh, I was going to talk about the 4th of July and how I think, although I love what it celebrates, I think it's, Fireworks are overrated, and I think it might be the single most overrated holiday. Love what it represents, everybody. Love it. <coughs> blah, blah, America. Yay. On board. Love America. Love this country. I think it is the single most overrated holiday. Oh, okay. Before also we get out of here, I wanted to say something on that firework note. Hey, the city of Las Vegas. I don't know who's planning. I don't know who's planning this shit, okay? But why am I seeing... 12 and 13 year old children with their parents selling fireworks from a wooden shack next to where I pump my gas. What is, who's the city planner? I got a lot of questions. Like I'm on a, this is an old man rant for me right now. Yo, what the fuck is going on? How do you have families full blown families in these tiny little wooden shacks Next to where I pump every my, gas station. Next to where I pump my gasoline. Well, dude, there's not going to be an accident, Mima. I mean, oh, relax. Who cares? Like, what if somebody? Dude, who? look. Okay, there's who? who's you think who, somebody's who, you, trying would to, owl, you would owl now? Who? Who? No, you want to know who? We live in a crazy fucking time, y'all. I watch too many true crime shit. That is a fire waiting to happen. Some dude's like, oh, let me buy some fireworks. Turns around and shoots a Roman candle inside my car while I'm pumping gas. Boop, boop, boop. And then the whole thing That's explodes. But is that your Roman candle? Yeah. Do it again. Do it. Pew. Yeah. Pew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's better than yours. You ready for my Roman candle? <laughs> just oh, like, oh, it just sounds like his brain fell off oh, of the stem oh, in his on, head. Shh. <laughs> Sounds like you pooped yourself. <laughs> That's not what a Roman camera sounds like. Oh, I, I kind of stuttered there. No, it sounds more like a like. It sounds like it's something <laughs> getting shot out of a cannon. It's like <laughs> doesn't even make it sound. It's like <laughs> that's not a Roman candle. The <laughs> poo. <laughs> well, okay. You, you wanna... think that sounds like? You think that's way better than my? <laughs> yes, because it's not an actual candle. <laughs> that candles don't make that noise, dude. I know, but you're making it sound like it's a candle. No, because candles don't make noises. What do you mean? Like making it sound. Is that a Roman candle sound? I'll have to find out. <laughs> Is that a Roman candle? It's an ad. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you would say to that. I, I think... If I... All right. Okay, that's the fizzing. That's what I did. <laughs> Mine's so much closer than yours. Mm, I don't think so. You went. I did do that. I did a. Yeah, but you just sounds like you're breathing. Like a through. Roman candle. It sounds like you're breathing through an inhaler. Dude, first that's you not call a word. me an older gentleman. Then I said you sound like you're breathing through a tube. Inhaler is that the word? No, I don't think it is. Do you know what I'm ventilator? Talking? Ventilator. Inhaler. Inhaler. Yeah, I was. It was there. Read us out. What do you got? Oh, um, hey everybody! By the way, this. Podcast sponsored by Best Day Brewing. If you want a beer that's not actually alcoholic, so good. Delicious. It's the best one out there, guys. I won't, I won't uh, entice you with my can opening sound again because we know how good it was. <sighs> but uh, it, it's, it's, guys. I like an IPA. 
I've never been able to find a non-alcoholic non -alcoholic IPA that tastes like an IPA. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. And out of the can, best day brewing, guys. It's also low calorie. This, I'm all of a sudden super itchy right there. Well, I'll continue because he's got ADD and can't focus Sorry. on what he's doing. Um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets. There is a link there. Uh, so please go check it out. Um, obviously... What we're saying is, you know, you guys are listening and we appreciate it. But for those of you that are new here and have just found us, if you love what you hear, please go leave a comment, a rate, uh, a review, all that stuff, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, and tell a friend, tell a family member, um, tell your dog. I don't care. Tell somebody. Do tell your dog. I think that's awesome. And we and we appreciate you guys jumping 50 spots in less than Fucking amazing. three days is 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 so heartwarming to us that you guys will choose to come and watch us or listen to us wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you. Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. And starting right now, tonight, right after I go home and the rest of this week. So when you hear it, we'll not be here. But next week, twitch.tv yeah. slash youthful wolf. Uh, we're going to get it back up and running. I am officially the highest rank I've ever been on Apex Legends. A big gaming achievement for me. I'm very excited. So come see us get shit on by pro players. It should be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, also, comedianjoshwolf.com, I'm sure he already said for tour dates, the shows are so good. Yeah, we're I, having a lot of fun. I think I have a new hour already. Really? I think so. How? I was going over it last night, and I think I got an hour. You know what's crazy is I never told that Rhino story. It never became one of, part of my act. Oh, such a good story. Yeah. But, but, um, Good maybe, story. I'll, maybe I'll start telling it. Come but, see uh, the new hour. But, 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 I guess. Yeah, I think I'm going to start. You know, I have that hour that I haven't released. I'm going to shoot a special. It's between Seattle and Houston. I in think. Spots. And look, as much as we love Houston, look, you started in Seattle. Right and I feel like, I feel like paying homage to that in an homage t shirt is, I agree with you. I think is the move. But, um, and then I have a couple new songs and Jacob is getting really good. Uh -huh. and, and We're having it, some fun. We're having so much fun. It's like, it's a show. Listen, guys, nobody's doing what we're doing. That's it's just, it, 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 it may not be, listen, I'm not, I, I'm not um, arrogant enough to say everybody's going to love what we do, but nobody's doing what we're doing. So, and, and guess what? Come check it out. What he just said, this is what I got to say to that. Facts are facts. And that's just a fact. So. Come see us. We're in Tampa by the time you hear this. So come oh, yeah. say what's up. Tampa, thank you guys. We can't wait to see you guys. And Tampa shows are always fun. And then Des Moines, Des Moines Iowa. And then New Jersey where we're going to have some pretty special oh, guests. Oh, and Des Moines. It's going to be a new state for me. So it'll be my first time in Iowa. So come say what's up. I'm excited. Friday night late Bring show. We're doing cheese. mushrooms, oh, everybody. Wait, no, that's Wisconsin. Yeah, they do cheese. You know the, what they I do I bet have? you they got cheese curds in Iowa. Somebody bring me cheese curds. I'd really appreciate it. Somebody brought us cookies at the... Uh, oh, those crumble cookies? Somebody brought us crumble cookies. Where were we just? In uh, Columbus. Columbus, because I'd said it on a uh, on an Instagram live, and somebody, so some son, texted his dad and was like, "Bring them chocolate chip cookies." They asked for it. You guys well, are the absolute best. Come on now, Columbus. Thank you we'll guys. See you in Tampa. We appreciate Love you. Tampa. Later. Later.